Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we'll take a look at a page builder called Brizzy for WordPress. So let's get started. Now, page builders are basically tools that can help you speed up the process of designing a web page. So here I'm in the dashboard of my WordPress website. Let's go to plugins and let's add the Brizzy plugin. So I'll just click on add new. And here just search for Brizzy. And here you can see Brizzy page builder by Brizzy.io. Just go ahead and install it. And after the installation, just click on activate. All right, now the Brizzy page builder has been activated. Now to start creating your design using Brizzy, you have to go over here to pages and add a new page. So let's click on add new. So let's add a title over here. I'll just type home and uh, I'll just save draft and let's click on edit with Brizzy and now here you are taken to this uh, Brizzy page builder so here you can go ahead and start building your page now to get started you can go ahead and click on this plus button over here and uh, you will have a lot of options over here now if you want to create your own custom design you can click on create your own now here you can start adding the elements of your page so if you click on plus we can see we have some elements displayed over here so you can search for the elements over here and all the elements are displayed over here we can see text button icons image video and a lot of uh, essential elements are displayed over here so let me just drag this text over here and uh, here we can see we have this text displayed over here and we can go ahead and change uh, the styling of the text we can change the fonts we can change uh, the color the alignment and uh, all of these things over here and then here we can see we have this settings button over here and if i click on that we can add gap above or below this text so we can see in this way we can add padding you can even type the value over here so in this way you can add different elements to your design now let's add a button over here so i'll just drag it and drop it down here and we can see that the button is being displayed you can go ahead and change the color the text and all of these over here you can change the size to small medium or large and then you can go ahead and uh, add a link so if the visitor clicks on this button they'll be taken to this link over here we also have these options like adding padding so you can go ahead and add padding to the button so in this way you can customize these elements in uh, Brizzy and if you hover over this area we can see that we have 75 pixels displayed over here now if you drag it down or up we can change the spacing from the top now let's add one more element over here so i'll just click on add element there are these elements called grid so we can add a row or a column so if i just drag in a row over here we can see there are two columns over here and you can add some content over here on the left and some other content on the right and you can even go ahead and increase or decrease their widths over here so in this way you can create pretty much any type of design you want using Brizzy. Now one of the coolest features of Brizzy is that you can go ahead and select from a lot of different awesome templates that they have. So that makes it even easier and quicker to create awesome designs using Brizzy. So let's go ahead and delete whatever we have over here right now. So I'll just click on this icon and I will click on this delete button. And we can see that everything has been deleted. Now let's create some design using the templates so i'll just click on this plus icon and here we have blocks and we have a lot of different blocks that are displayed over here we have free as well as paid blocks and on the left side we can see we have the kit so you can select any of these kits from here they both have different types of designs every design over here has a dark and a light theme so here you can see everything is dark and here we have the light design and then we have the categories over here so you can go ahead and uh, select any of these categories and get the design from there so first of all let's go ahead and select cover and we can see that these are all the options that we have for the cover so let's select one from here I'll just select this one right here and uh, here we can see that the design has been added over here and uh, we have all the elements we can go ahead and uh, modify any of these to whatever we want you can change the text and all of these things just like we saw earlier and if you go over here to the left and if you click on this button right here we can see that there are stylings that we can add to this uh, design 
So you can go ahead and select any of these tiles from here. So let's select one of these. I'll just select overpass. And this is how the overpass style looks. And it has a completely different style. It has different colors and different fonts. So you can go ahead and select any of these. For example, magazine. So this is how we have a different style for magazine. And uh, all these different styles are there. You can go ahead and select any of these. And then we have the colors. So you can select colors from here and uh, change the colors. For example, this color is for the button. So you can go ahead and change this to whatever you want over here. And then there are these different things like paragraph, subtitle, above title, heading one and so on. So you can go ahead and select those and then customize them over here. So if you change any of these, those elements in the design will be affected. Now you can even go ahead and change the icons to whatever you want. So I'll just click on this icon and click on this uh, button over here. And uh, here we have the list of icons. So if I click on this, we can see that the list of icons is displayed over here. And you can select any of these icons from here. So let's select a different icon. I'll just select this one right here. And we can see that the icon has changed. So in this way, you can customize all the elements that you see over here and customize it to your needs. Now you can see that we have this background image over here. And if you want to change the background image, you can click on this button right here. And then click on this button called background. And here we can see the background image is being displayed. You can just remove this from here and add your own background image right here. And you can upload your own files over here. So I'll just select this one right here and uh, let's click on select. And now we can see that the background image is being displayed over here. And you can even change the position of the background image right here by dragging around. And you can even add parallax effect over here. So if I click on fixed, we can see that the image stays there and we have this parallax effect. You can even go ahead and uh, click on animated. And you have this parallax effect over here where the image scrolls slowly. So in this way, you can go ahead and uh, customize any of these elements from here. Now let's add a couple of more blocks over here. So let's click on plus. And now let's click on features and let's add some features. So there are a lot of different templates over here. You can select any of these. Let me just select this one right here. And here we can see we have the features being displayed. And you can go ahead and customize these elements to whatever you want. And if you want to change the image, you can click on this image and uh, click on this button right here and just delete the image from here and upload your own image. Now let's add one more element. So let's click on plus. Now let's add a CTA. So call to action. So we have all these elements over here. Let's select the dark theme from here. And uh, let's select one from here. So I think uh, this looks all right. So I'll just select this one. And here we have the call to action and uh, we need to change the color of this text. So let's change it to some light color. And uh, there we have the call to action. And this is our progress as of now. Now let's add one more block. So I'll just click on plus. And uh, this time let's select all categories and we'll just select the light theme. And let's just scroll down and uh, see whether we have anything that we can add. So let's add this right here. So I'll just click on this. And we have the block displayed over here. Now, if you want to rearrange these blocks, for example, if you want to have this CTA at the bottom of the R process and services, then you can click on this button right here, which is called reorder blocks. And here you can see all the blocks that we have in our design and we can just drag and drop it anywhere we want. So here we can see now it is at the bottom. You can also delete these blocks from here by clicking on this close button. So this is how you can easily design a web page using Breezy Page Builder. Now the design that we have over here is also responsive. So let's click on this button right here and let's click on tablet and let's see how it looks. So this is how our design will look on a tablet. It looks all right. And you can change these values over here as well. And uh, let's click on mobile. And this is how it will look on a mobile device. And everything looks all right. There's no problems with the responsiveness. Let's go back to desktop. Now let's click on preview and see how our page looks. So here we have this button called preview. Let's click on that. And here we can see that our design is uh, contained inside this uh, theme that we have right here. So if you want to have a full width design, you can go ahead and change that over here. So let's go to the top. And let's click on this icon and click on the settings. And here we have the width. So let's set it to full. 
and now let's preview it once more so let's save it and let's click on preview and now we have this full width design over here and everything looks just as expected everything looks all right now let's go ahead and publish this page so let's click on this arrow and click on publish page and uh, let's go back to our dashboard so let's click on this button and click on go to dashboard and now if you want to make this page as the home page of our website you have to go over here to settings and click on reading and uh, here if you have your latest post selected you have to click on a static page for the your home page displays and then you have to select the page from here so let's select home and you also have to create a page for the blogs and you have to select that over here but for now let's just select the home page and uh, let's click on save and let's go ahead and view our website and here we see the home page of our website and uh, it looks awesome and we just created this uh, in a short amount of time and it was really easy to create this design using Brizzy Page Builder. So that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to introduce Brizzy Page Builder to you and uh, if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.